Hi, this is Sunyeon again, and in this session, we're going to play with 1M team devices, and now I'm with Yungi Park. So, as a motivation for this session, so Device Simulator is a software with devices, because in many cases, there are different issues when you play with hardware. So for the tutorial uh, today and tomorrow, we're going to use the uh, physical devices, not the physical devices, but the virtual devices. But also you can uh, have your own hardware like the Zigbee or the other, the other, like tomorrow and after. And the device simulator that we're going to Play with today is to just uh, create and retrieve and update and delete data from and to the one m team platform. So again, this is not a physical or real device, but the virtual device which puts some data as the virtual sensor, and also we have some virtual actuators that we can send some commands and see what happens. So this is the outline, and as a uh, preparation, so you still need the Node.js and the Visual Studio Code, and if you prefer, as we do, you can have the uh, Better Look Terminal, which is Commander, and you can download the Virtual Simulator source code from the Git link on the screen in your uh, paper, and. In, in this session, we don't show you how to kind of download the kind of zip source codes or how to kind of git clone the thing. So you can do that by yourself. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it. So we will skip over how to kind of get the code from the git. So the simulator overview. So simulator provides the virtual devices, which is basically the sensor or the actuator. And of course, as we say, those are the 1M2M devices. So they are uh, talking to 1M2M platforms with the 1M2M APIs. So this is a really kind of beneficial because when we want to kind of to connect the virtual, not the virtual, physical devices to the platform, we will spend a lot of time to have the connection and then the API, blah, blah. So just for the sake of time and to focus more on the uh, theme or the goal, we will use this simulator as a virtual device. And on the screen, you can see several different types of sensors in the actuators, like the temperature measuring sensor and humidity, luminosity and presence and as the actuator we have the lamp or light bulb or the buzzer. So here's the setup. So as we see from the previous slide we have different sensors and we have different actuators. And of course there will be the 1M10 platform and we have successfully installed the Mobius from the last session. And there will be the application on the web as a web page that you can see and try soon. So here's the kind of scenario or the guide for this session. So you're going to select a type of device as you saw from the previous one slide. And you put a name. And when you create the devices, then uh, they will be created as a resource on the 1M10 platform. And when a sensor is created on the simulator, it will uh, periodically uh, push some data to the 1M10 platform that we can see like the, by the postman or your application or the dashboard that you will try tomorrow. And with the actuators, uh, it is possible to change some status or send some commands to the uh, lamp or the buzzer 
and there will be the update button on the UI. And of course, you can delete the device itself, and those are the simple kind of functions or features of this simulator. And you will see what it is. And before you run it, uh, there is a simple configuration. And the first thing is the CSC configuration because this simulator can be worked with different type of one to platform implementation. And here on the screen, this is the setting for the local modules that we are running from the uh, last session. And the other configuration is the templates. So basically, you can add new type of sensors or the actuators. When you see the stream up and down, so for the up, when you uh, want to kind of add more sensors, then you will use the up for the stream key. And those are kind of pushing all the data to the platform. And there's the range for the min value and max value in the frequency, which is the periodicity that I explained just before. And of course, there will be some kind of button or the icon on the UI. So you will kind of indicate where is the icon. And for example, this is the actuator. And the name of the type is lamp and min value and max value since that is basically the toggle between 2 and 4 is 2 and 1 and the icon that you prepared to use as a lamp yeah on the left uh, you can see the mobius which is running and on the right so we have opened the you know, project that we downloaded from the repository in the prerequisites slides and when you see the configuration file, which is default.json in config folder. So on the top, there is a CSC configuration. And again, if you go down, there is a templates. And we have yeah, several templates that we are going to show you pretty soon. So to use it, so assumption here again is you have downloaded the zip file from the GitHub repository or you have cloned the repository the project and when you go to the folder that you uh, have our source code then you are going to install it with the npm install and then run it with node app.js so let's install the packages that we need to run it and we are going to run the simulator so now it is running and we can see what is running. So we have connected to the local host and the port number, as you can see, 8369. Uh, we can add new kind of sensors and actuators. We have chosen the temperature sensor and uh, we put name as temp and on the left screen, you have seen uh, we have created the new resources to the modules. And secondly, we have added a new lamp as name as light. And we also created the humidity.
So while we are adding new devices, you can see, for example, the temperature has been changed 90 to 18, 18 to 19, and of course the other sensors, they kind of generate random values within the range that you configured in the default.json. And also we can change the actuator with the new command. And we can see uh, if it is kind of updated or actuated with the postman at least because this is the virtual device. And this is the humidity sensor data that is periodically kind of pushed to the Mobius. And we can also check the kind of actuator. So light is an actuator uh, in the simulator, so there is no automatic generation of new sensor measuring, but we are going to kind of send a command within the kind of simulator GUI. For example, we have kind of send the new command, which is zero, for example, and you can see that we now have zero. So the assumption is the device uh, just received the new you know, command, and of course, uh, it has been kind of sent by the notification, for example, and the device will parse the payload zero and turn off the light bar so again this is the kind of simulation of one of them devices we have already kind of seen the uh, resource browser which is the kind of windows version uh, that you already installed and i think we already showed you how it works with the resource browser and the simulator on the web browser and in the next, so uh, from the simulator, we can get some data which is shown on the screen. And when you push some new command to the actuator, like the buzzer or the light bulb, uh, of course, every uh, resource is created on the one of platform. We can kind of check it from the postman, as we said, and also, of course, when you have your own application, one of application, you can get it with the one of API. So as, as a last trial, we will check the data with the postman. So still the simulator is running, and as you see from the left-hand screen, the temperature at the moment is 20, and let's see yeah, it just kind of changed into 21. So, yeah, so everything is kind of working with the one m platform. I hope you enjoyed the device simulator session, and we're going to reuse this simulator twice. In the next session, we're going to uh, extend the simulator uh, for the mini project uh, in the second day which is tomorrow in the last session uh, during the dashboard kind of practice we're going to use it again thank you